Today we're at the Trelawney Street Tunnel site, which is one of four tunnelling compounds on the North Connex project. North Connex is a unique project in that they're accessed by shafts, either permanent or temporary, and the spoil has to come out via vertical conveyors. The Hawkesby Sandstone in the Sydney Basin is up to 250 metres thick. It's a great tunnelling medium, which is why tunnelling has been favoured as a method of providing infrastructure in Sydney. Right behind me we've got a Sandvik 520 road header which is uh, one of 20 road headers on the project which is the main tool and machine that, that cuts the sandstone. Well the road header has a rotating head on it with up to 140 picks and the impact and the pressure of the, on the sandstone breaks the rock up. The rock drops to the apron which has gathering arms on it. The gathering arms then take the rock into a central chain conveyor. That chain conveyor feeds onto a tail conveyor at the rear of the machine. The dump truck trams back behind us here and goes back to a hopper where it feeds into the breaker feeder. The breaker feeder then feeds into a vertical conveyor which takes it 50 metres to the surface. And then a loader in the spoil shed feeds it onto road going truck and dogs which then finally take the spoil up the road to Hornsby Quarry and deposit it in Hornsby Quarry. Look, I'm extremely proud to work on this project and, and like other major tunnel projects I've worked on, look, I honestly get a good feeling driving through them, whether it's a road tunnel or a train tunnel, you know, five years, ten years down the track, and then fully realising the benefits the project's provided to the local community and the, and the community at large here. And I look forward to finishing this job off successfully, bringing my family through it and driving through this tunnel in, in a few years' time.